Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at how your quick hit workouts can have a positive impact on your blood markers and why this is important. So I'm going to pick three main blood markers that we're going to look at, uh, three main areas. First of all, blood sugar levels and often the test for this would be called hemoglobin A1C levels. Why would you have a test for this? Well, this would be a test for somebody who has prediabetes or diabetes and it's checking effectively the levels of sugars in your blood. Now, during a workout, your muscles need and use glucose to produce movement, to produce this high intensity effort that you do in a quick hit workout. Muscles also store glucose. So they're a storage chamber, a little tank in each of your muscles that stores glucose. The stronger a muscle is, the more glucose that muscle can store. So when you do your regular quick hit workouts, you're building stronger, bigger storage tanks for glucose, which means that they can suck more glucose out of the blood and store it in a healthy place, which is in muscle tissue where it's ready to be used for your workout. Now, as you do this, as you go through your workout itself, on the day, you're gonna be emptying out the blood of much of its glucose because the muscles need that, so they suck it out of the blood. And then in between your workouts, as we've said, your muscles are gonna store more of it. So what impact does this have on your A1C test results? It means they're better over the long run because you have better ins insulin sensitivity. Your muscles are storing more glucose, there's less glucose in your blood, which means that effectively you're in a healthier state. You have a lower blood sugar level consistently. And if you're pre-diabetic or diabetic, that's important. Let's move on and look at another test now, and uh, or two tests that are in the same kind of ballpark. That's the uh, CRP test or C-reactive protein test and the interleukin-6 test. Now both of these um, test results will come back better or lower after you've been working out a quick hit for a significant amount of time. What are these markers in your blood? Well, these are markers of inflammation, um, which is a bad state for the body to be in. Um, it, it increases your disease risk, especially things like heart disease. So when you do your quick hit workouts, what effectively happens is you produce small proteins. The muscles release small proteins that are known as myokines. And these small proteins go all over the body, helping to reduce inflammation at different sites around the body. The net effect of this is that you're reducing your chronic inflammation levels. And as I've said, chronic inflammation is a risk for many diseases. So you want those CRP, C-reactive protein tests, and the interleukin-6 tests to come back lower. And your quick hit workouts will help get you to that place. Now, the last area I want to look at in this video on blood work is your cholesterol levels. Again, the stimulus of a quick hit workout is gonna help you reduce your low density lipoprotein, your bad cholesterol levels. It's gonna help you reduce your total cholesterol levels and help you reduce your triglyceride levels, which are the fatty acids in your blood. So when you have a blood test, those three things would typically be checked and a quick hit workout is gonna help a reduction in those things which is good. Uh, by the way, at the same time, what's also likely to happen is you'll increase your levels of high density lipoprotein cholesterol. That's the good cholesterol. So quick, uh, a quick hit workout has an effect, an impact on that as well. The big picture about all of these three blood tests that I just mentioned is that the quick hit workouts are gonna lead to better metabolic health help you with weight optimization and your well-being, decrease your chronic inflammation, and effectively reduce your risk of developing these diseases that are related to the blood work that I've talked about in general.